Yeah, Sky Peels, which is a British film written and directed by Mon Hussein, who was one of Screen International's stars of tomorrow. Uh, BAFTA breakthrough Brit Fayez Ayub stars as Adam, who is this lonely young man working in a in a motorway service station in a burger joint. Um, the place that he lives is being sold up. He's got a phone message from his estranged father, who he hasn't seen for 20 years, saying he, he wants to see him, he wants to tell him something. He then learns that his father has died, having parked up outside his workplace. So he's both homeless and suddenly kind of cast adrift by this this event. His uncle then tells him that his father was adopted and thought he came from somewhere else. And he says, what, Pakistan? He says, no, somewhere else, meaning somewhere not earthly. So Adam then starts to wonder, was his father an alien? Is that the thing that he was going to tell him? And if his father was an alien, then what does it make him? And is he human or is he some kind of, you know, man who fell to earth? So the film's really interesting. It's, it's shot on film. Apparently Kodak ag- agreed to, um, to, you know, to, to help them with the, the cost of shooting it on film because they want young filmmakers to work on film. And I read an interview with the, the writer-director who said that they were inspired by watching Close Encounters of the Third Kind and realizing that Close Encounters of the Third Kind isn't really about space aliens. What it's about is a man running away from his family. And you and I, Simon, have talked about this before, and I've talked to Richard Dreyfus about it, that um, you know, at the center of Close Encounters is a story of somebody who has this kind of bizarre wanderlust to, you know, to go off into the, you know, to, to follow the aliens and go off into the stars. And Steven Spielberg said, and I, he, I think he said it in one of the interviews that we did with him, or he said it many times, he made Close Encounters before he had kids. And if he had made it after he had had kids, he would not have allowed the central character to get on the spaceship. I'm sorry if that's a plot spoiler, but it's Close Encounters, I think. I think, I, think, I think we're fine, yeah. It's a previous century, I think we're fine. So... And then I we spoke to Richard Dreyfus, and he said, "Yeah, but that's, there's no other way it could end. Or anyway, he has to get on the spaceship because that's the trajectory of the story, anyway." So the writer director of uh, Sky Peel says that kind of realization that that film wasn't about space aliens, but it was about somebody running away from their family, is sort of then translated into this, you know, much lower budget, much smaller, much more kind of, you know, down to earth in some way, intimate drama about somebody who basically feels alienated, about somebody who starts to wonder, and I'm sure many people will recognize this, if they actually fit, if the reason that they don't seem to be able to to make friends or communicate with people is because they are genuinely alien. I mean, I still think, for example, that if you look at Nick Rogue's Man Who Fell to Earth, one of the reasons that story chimes with many people isn't because they're interested in outer space, because there's very little outer space in the Man Who Fell to Earth. It's because... Bowie represented that kind of alien presence. You know, the, he's a he's a stranger among us. There's a really lovely sort of touching, funny, awkward moment when Steve Oram, who's got a supporting role in it, plays his boss, and he decides to bring him out of the kitchen and put him front of house as a guest welcomer. And he says, "Because you're a people person, I look at you and I see you're a people person." And it's really funny and painful because because the central character is anything but a people person. He is somebody who when somebody says hello to him or asks him how he is, you can you can see the pain that he has in just answering them in just trying to kind of reproduce the illusion of normal human interaction. And then what's lovely is that the story becomes about the way in which you do or don't choose to be part of the world in in which you live. So really, it's a story about somebody moving from a position of isolation to a position of realization, and then something beyond that, which is told within a narrative in which, I mean, the question about whether or not there is anything unearthly happening there's a s- sequence in which he finds a video, a surveillance video uh, tape of his father, who appears to disappear. But it could be a, it could be a blip on the tape. It could be nothing more than that. And it's, it's using the science fiction idea, as in the way that science fiction really should be used, which is to talk about things that are completely down to earth. Because although on one level it's a story about somebody who comes to believe that their father is an alien, it's actually really a story about somebody trying to make sense of why it is that they don't fit in in the world 
And I think on that level, it works really well and it's very touching. There's these kind of hallucinogenic flashes as well, which are kind of stylistically interesting. But at the center of it is this very moving performance of somebody who just doesn't feel they fit in and thinks that they might have found a reason why. And that is called Sky Peels and... Called Sky Peels. Decent uh, distribution? Well, it's the BFI are behind it. So yes, you will be able to see it. Again, you know, like anything else, because it's not a blockbuster release you'll have to seek it out but it is it is it's it's well worth your time there's a there's a there's a lot going on in a very small film <laughs> 